Here's five things I just learned at the Unity 6 roadmap talk here at GDC. So Unity have been hard at work uh, synchronizing URP and SRP with kind of like core technologies that bridge the gap between both, such as decals and things like that. And that's only set to continue in uh, Unity 6. And in Unity 6, the scriptable render pipelines will be the default when you start a new project instead of the built-in render pipeline. So they're really going all in on the scriptable render pipelines. Also in Unity 6, there's gonna be a new SpeedTree importer. So if you use SpeedTree in your projects, uh, there'll be a new improved workflow. And come in later this year, I think they said this year, uh, SpeedTree 10 will be coming out, which will have a brand new like modernized interface when you are using it to create trees and vegetation. Muse Chat, their GPT-like AI, will be uh, actually directly in the editor in Unity 6. So what that kind of means is you'll be able to ask it questions, but it'll also be uh, project aware because it's in the editor. So it'll know your files, your kind of scripts, like what you're actually doing. It'll have a bit more kind of, uh, yeah, information about your project to be able to give you better answers. Uh, and building for the web is getting better too. You'll soon be able to uh, utilize web mobile games. So you'll be able to play games on your phone directly through the web, no kind of installations uh, required. And they're also gonna be sporting Facebook um, and Facebook Messenger's new instant gaming sort of technology. So you can just launch games from within like Facebook, Facebook Messenger. And they're working closely with Google as well to kind of utilize the new web GPU technology. So that way you'll be able to play better looking games just directly in the web, no downloads needed. And last, multiplayer play mode is coming. So you'll be able to use that to test clients and server on the same uh, machine without having to launch up different Unity editors. And it shares the same source code. So previously you'd have to use like a third party plugin which copies the source code into a different project, launches that and that's how you get a client. But with Unity 6, that's just gonna be built into the editor and you can have you know, your uh, server and your clients just all running from one machine directly within the editor. So yeah, that's just five new features that are coming this year with Unity 6.